Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. It's going, it's going to get good today. It's going to get good today. So one of the most important things about makeup application is what you use to apply it with. Now, I do use sponges. I do use powder poofs and I do use brushes. So I use everything. I even use my fingers sometimes. I'm not the biggest finger person for certain things. I know there's people they just like put all the makeup on with their hands. I think Pat McGrath does that. Like she uses like like 95% her hands. But that's just not my thing. But brushes are really, really important. So today I thought I would share with you my top 10 favorite face brushes. Now I have some things that are a little bit more expensive and things that are very affordable, but to me, in my overall brush collection, these are brushes that I like die for. Like I have to have, if I lost them, if they broke, they shattered, they were burned in a fire, I would have to replace them. I think they're so good. I swear by them. And the way they apply product is art. It's art. Um, so yeah, let's do this. All right. Now, no particular order. Coming in at number 10. Not that it matters because they're just all my favorites because all of them do different things. This is the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. Now, this is definitely a bestseller. If you go on Sigma's website, it's going to be like bestseller. It's going to be on the front page. It's like one of their best brushes ever and for a good reason. This is amazing for foundation but I also use it for other things like cream bronzer cream blush um, you can use with this as you can see it's a flat top dense synthetic brush sorry some of these are dirty because I use them but um, I've used things like the morphe m439 which I do like but it's a little bit more domed I really like that this one is flat it's just really nice for stippling it's nice for brushing um, and it's nice for buffing which I really like now I personally believe that they like put the like infinite amount of bristles in here like whatever was legally possible for them to put in here i think they crammed in here because it's so dense but it feels like velvet on the top like not a hair is out of place and i personally really really like sigma now to me this brush is way better made than the morphe one i just think that sigma overall just gives a really amazing amazing product um all the brushes that i've ever bought for them are really sturdy well made they come with like warranties you're not going to get a brad brush from sigma the one thing i will say is like most of their brushes are synthetic i personally like to have some natural hair brushes um for powders and things like that but if you are someone who only uses synthetic brushes for whatever reason, Sigma is amazing. And even if you don't, like me, Sigma is still amazing. And I love this brush. It's absolutely a must have. Um, when I, um, I'm trying to cut back on my spending. It's been really hard. But if I order from Sigma again, I'm definitely getting like two more of these to have with me because they're just the best. The best, the best, the best, the best, the best. I'm sorry, Morphe, but the M439 can kick rocks compared to this brush. I love it. All right, number nine. Um, now that brush, obviously, you can tell this is kind of like a bigger face brush, you know, compared. I mean, I can still use it for like some cream bronzer and stuff, but it's a pretty um, large brush, I will say. This brush is a little bit smaller. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Now this is a synthetic brush. Again, a lot of Real Techniques, I think actually all of their brushes are synthetic, but that makes them really good for cream products. I like that this brush is a little bit smaller just because it's easier to get a more precise application for cream bronzer or cream blush. You can also use this to buff out concealer because it's a little bit smaller. This one I wouldn't use to buff out concealer. It's just too big. This one is better, especially if you're doing like a really rushed job and just want to do something quick. This is perfect. I also can use this to put eye primer on. Amazing. 
I love this brush. It's perfect. And I've also used it to set things with powder too. So I can like set right underneath the eye with this. I can really do some nice contour work in here. I just love this brush so much. Okay, so coming in at number eight is Morphe's Chance to redeem themselves. Um, this is the Morphe E8 brush. I've had this for so long. I love it so much. There is a similar brush from Sigma that I like, but it's just a little bit longer in the bristles. This one's a little bit shorter. This again is another do everything brush. So you can use this for anything. I have seen makeup artists use this for foundation. You can use it to blend out concealer, put eye primer. I've even used it to set with powder. You can do a nice nose contour. You can use it for cream highlight highlighter application. Sometimes I'll even use this for like powder, like right underneath the eyes. Beautiful. I love this brush. I could never live without this brush. It is literally broke off in half and I have glued it back together with my handy dandy glue gun. That's how much I love this. Um, and it's just really nice because see, it's kind of like at an angle. It's great for pressing, buffing, swiping. I just love this. And when I do like my concealer, and I'm doing like a quick job. Sometimes whatever I have left over, I'll just like run right here, right here, you know. So you can kind of use it for foundation. And I've seen people use it for foundation. I just prefer this for like concealer. And obviously I use concealer more than foundation. This is a must have always and forever. I'm obsessed with the Morphe E8. Okay, coming in at number seven is a newer brush to my collection, but I absolutely love it. It is the Sigma Small Duo Fiber, the F55. I like this because I have another Duo Fiber brush in my collection, but it's very big. And I mostly just use it to like dust off extra product. I don't really use it for a lot, but this is fantastic. I use this so much for cream blush, cream bronzer. Um, it just gives the most airbrushed look. Now, if I want my bronzer to be a little bit heavier or my blush to be a little bit heavier, a little bit more pigment, I'll use like my fingers or I'll use a denser brush like this one or the Kabuki. But this is just airbrush city, man. You could just take your cream product and just so easy. It blends like a dream. It doesn't apply too much product. So this is great for someone who has a really fair complexion that wants to wear bronzer and wants to wear blush but doesn't want it to be too much. Um, or someone that just prefers a lighter application of product. Um, you could use this for foundation. I have definitely seen people use brushes like this for foundation. I personally find this too streaky for like a liquid foundation. But for bronzer and blush, I really, really love it. And I'm obsessed with it. I use it every time I do my makeup. Doesn't matter whether it's simple or extreme glam, I'm using this. I love it. All right, coming in at number six is my man, my love, Scott Barnes. This is his number 66 brush. I love Scott Barnes brushes. I feel like they are very, very unique. They're not shapes that we see all the time. I mean, like, do I love this brush? Yes, but have we seen it a million times? Yes. This is a brush that you don't really see a lot. Um, this is his, I believe it's called the Powder Shearer Brush. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I really like this. It's very skinny. As you can see, the bristles, the bristles <laughs> um, are a lot shorter. They have a little bit less movement down here compared to the ones back here where they obviously have a lot of movement and it's a very skinny shape it's not really wide but i love this brush it's a very unusual brush you're kind of like i don't know how, how do i use ooh, i don't know how do i use this thing i personally really like to use this to highlight my face highlight up here highlight the bridge of the nose it's great for blush application you can use it to sheer powder all over the face um any kind of finishing powder you can use for this it's fabulous I love this. Okay, now another concealer brush, number five. This is by Sigma. This is the Precision Angled P84. Now, I have seen a lot of people out there, <laughs> Pat McGrath and <laughs> Saweva, get this brush um, and use it for like their new concealer launches this year, but Sigma was the one that perfected this. I am obsessed with this brush. I love it 
oh my gosh, it's so good and very multi-purpose, I will say. Um, perfect for concealer. I use it a lot for concealer, blending, and buffing out concealer. You can use this for eye primer. You can use it for um, nose highlight, um, liquid highlight. I love for... Um, you can also use this for nose contour really easy. You can even use it for face contour. It's fabulous. It's also great for like applying around the eyebrows, underneath eyeshadow that you've already applied, around the lips to clean up that area. This is just a stellar brush. Sigma killed it with this. I love the shape. I love the density. I, ugh. Mm. Okay, so this is one of my MAC brushes. And I will say, um, oh, sorry, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> I will say that I think Sigma has a dupe for this that is a little bit cheaper. I don't have it though. I have the MAC one, but I think there's a Sigma one. I'll link down below if it's if I'm correct. This is my MAC 195 brush. It's a very like flat synthetic brush. It kind of tapers to this point. Let me tell y'all though, I use this thing for everything. Um, you can use it, obviously, to apply lip product. You can use it to clean up around the lips. You can use it for um, highlight, very precise highlight concealer. You can use it to blend out concealer under the eye. You can use it to cut your crease. You can use it to apply eye primer. Um, you can use it to pack on glitter onto the lid. You can use it to do eyeliner, brows, um, contour on the face, contour on the nose. You name it, this brush does it. Okay, I just, I love the shape. I love the feeling. It's very soft. I, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Again, when I order more brushes, I'm going to pick up that Sigma one because it's like $10 cheaper than this one. But if you want to buy this one for Mac, if you're a Mac fan, you have a Mac gift card, whatever. I love this brush. I think it's one of their, their best brushes in the whole wide world. This is like an undercover bad bitch of a brush. I'm telling you, it's fabulous. All right, number three, another Morphe brush. <laughs> um, this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. This is the JH06. I love this brush so much. I really do. This brush is a angled brush, but it is very dulled on this end, and it has a lot of movement to it. You can use this for contour. You can use this for bronzer you can use it for blush you can use it to sweep powder um, away from the eyes you can use it to use a brightening powder under the eyes you can use it for powder all over the face on the flat side this brush is fantastic i love it and it is a really nice dupe for that smashbox brush i don't know if you guys remember that it was like this but it was like a little more wonkier and everyone was obsessed with it for a while and now i can't find it anymore hmm this is a dupe for that though, and that's why I got it, because it's very inexpensive, and it's just has a really nice movement to it. It's fabulous. All right, number two, numero dos. This is the Moda Pro. It's a line by a brush company called Royal and Lane Nickel that I've discovered that I just, mm, I love them. This was actually a free gift and I ended up getting another one as well because I'm just obsessed with this brush. This is literally their BMX 265 Glow Brush and that's what I use it for. It's nice because it's like, if I flatten it out, it's kind of like tapered to a soft point as you guys can see, but it's like flat, but it's fluffy, it's angled, it's so nice. A lot of times I feel like we always pick highlighter brushes that are just too big and I personally like to pick a little bit of a smaller brush that I can more precisely apply highlighter and this one's perfect and because it's tapered you can really get a nice one down the nose on the tip of the nose you can really like put a little bit and then kind of nicely blend it out you can put it on the flat side if you want more glow or you have a larger face area that you need to cover I love this brush I've also used this brush um, to blend concealer out under the eyes. It's a nice fluffy synthetic brush and I've used it for powder under the eyes as well. I just, I love you. I have two of these because they're so fantastic and I just love like this kind of tufted like quilt pattern. I don't know. I just, I love it. I think this brush is so pretty. And last, but certainly is my Wayne Goss airbrush. I love Wayne Goss's brushes. 
I used to be someone that only bought Morphe and I was like, I just want cheap, 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 cheap. And then I started investing in some high-end brushes and I was like, oh, it really does make a difference to kind of pay a little bit more. You know, I mean, definitely do your research, but brushes definitely you pay more to have a more well-made brush. This brush is everything and I can't believe that it was only like $35 for like a rare blue squirrel tail haired brush. It's a mouthful to say. Blue squirrel is like the softest br I'm having a hard time with my BRs today. My br 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 the bristles on this brush are amazing. They're so soft and blue squirrel tail is like one of the softest brush fibers you will ever find. Now it's obviously not synthetic. It's a natural hair brush, but you would think it's synthetic by how freaking soft it is. Like, oh my god, I could rub this on my face like all day. It's just oh. I love this brush because it's like flat but it's still kind of pillowy and has a little bit of movement to it um so on its side it's more um skinny and then when you turn it this way it's more flat i personally use this mostly for under eye powder because the under eye area is like tissue paper and you want to be very gentle with it also there's no pores right under here so there's nothing to absorb product. So you have to be very gentle with tugging at your under eyes and things like that. And so this is just the perfect brush to just get right in there and apply the powder. I also use it for highlighting. Um, you can use it for blush. It's just fabulous. But I use it mostly for like setting the T-zone area. And oh my god, I wish I could have 70,000 of these. I wish I could have an entire brush collection made out of these oh wait i can't i can buy the whole wayne goss collection <laughs> um he does have a collection of natural hair brushes that have um like a goat hair like it's like a white hair which i actually do really like and i have a couple of those and they're very very soft and he also has a synthetic collection so if you're like look i just can't do the natural hair thing for whatever reason he does have synthetic but i really like this one it is amazing i love all of his um, blue squirrel tail collection brushes they are just oh my god his brushes are made in japan by japanese artisans they don't cut the bristles they actually pull them to the shape that they want so you're not getting any dulled hairs on this thing they're all like so incredibly soft they're not blunt they're just oh this brush is like freaking gold that's my little that's my little plug right there for my friend wayne <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 best face brushes. I will leave all the applicable links below to all of these amazing brushes. If you guys have any questions about any of these brushes or you'd like maybe to see me use them more in depth, but I, I try to do a pretty good job of giving all my brushes love, then leave a comment down below. If you have a brush that you think I should try that you're just like, bitch, this is the brush, leave it down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.